good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. We have terrific scenes in front of us at the Estadio do Dragao, one of the biggest venues in Portugal. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And already we're underway here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning-fast reactions and... And Carlos Vinicius! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Richarlison gets his foot in there. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And it's Allen. Dina. Gomez. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Lucas Moura. Back into the middle. Davis. Neither side yet able to find the net. I'll try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Kane provides an outlet. Kane. And it's Lucas Moura. Reguilon. Hoists it forward. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Carlos Vinicius. Lo Celso. Lo Celso! It's broken loose. In comes the cross. And the ball's come out. Forward it goes. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. Carlos Vinicius dinks one in. And he heaves it forward. Kane. There's the whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. It's Kane! What a wonderful goal! Well, when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It augurs well. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Surprise, surprise. It will be! A collective sigh of relief from the defence.
Sanchez plays it forward. Lucas Moura over to the left. Up to meet it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Gomez. And that has put paid to that. Defenders on the back foot. Now it's Lucas Moura. He's got away. Poor robust challenge. Gomez. And it's Dina. And here's Iwobi. Iwobi has got himself a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. And this is a great chance to get themselves back square. They certainly look... That is gorgeous! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Calvert-Lewin going full steam ahead down the left flank. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Richarlison can't get the better of his opposite number. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Well, if he's serious about trying from this range, I think he, he must feel he can generate the power. Big ask. That was travelling. Hoiberg, and it's played forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Away from immediate danger. Everton showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Looking to... F He's through and all alone! Real chance! You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Chooses to go back. Good ball, it's found its target. Alan tries to get it forward quickly. Now the counter. Lo Celso, chip through. That's a decent ball. There's no flag. Well, the referee has bought that. I'm not sure I have. Draw your own conclusions. I've drawn mine. Well, it looked like a, a dive to me, too. The theatrics were a poor attempt to convince, weren't they? Oh, the protests are futile. The decision is made. Late, late drama. It's a goal! He was just never going to miss. Well, that looked a simple case of giving the keeper the eyes and just slipping the ball to the other side. That was clever.
And that's it. Super game. It might have tipped in either direction. Tiny margins, but they just lost it. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Everton just may have felt a little extra pressure in front of their own fans that caused a, a nervousness and tension. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.